How you doing today? Doing lovely. How are the you hair looks good. Appreciate it. Best hair and health screens in the league. Wow. I'm off to get a late breakfast with Agent Red Pants. Where's my mask? You got a different face mask today. How many face masks do you bring with you? I have like 20. I wonder if Pun's gonna live in San Diego now. Do you think he just moves there? Or do you think he's still going back to Florida? family is in Florida. But San Diego, I think it's better. Depending on if you like cold water or not. No, San Diego's warm. No, it's not. <laughs> I was just there. I'm it's, in the water. It's not bad. It's not It's warm-ish, ish, in the summer. Yeah. But it's not Florida water, no. and it's cold as crap. No. In the off season. In the off season. Wonder, Is that how you define your season? Yeah. <laughs> not, not winter. Not winter, summer. fall, summer. No, it's season during season and off season. Yeah. You were kind of on the training block. Was I? You would know more about that than I would. You were on the training block. I was busy giving up homers to Rizzo. Yeah, let's stop that. <laughs> Super food, bowl. And that's what we got. Well, took my off day yesterday at the field since I have an extra day this cycle. Felt really tired yesterday, but I feel super energized today, super well rested. So we're gonna get some cardio done, we're gonna get a lift done, we're gonna throw. We're gonna do a whole host of other things. I don't know, oh yeah, uh, hot water therapy. We're gonna watch a bullpen. Lots of good stuff in the field today. Ugh. How you doing today? Doing lovely, how are you? The hair looks good. Appreciate it. Best hair and health screens in the league. Wow. Aquino. Hey, how are you? Hello. Any COVID testing today? No COVID testing today. Hi, TJ. Hey, Weighted pelotas. Oh, looks like we got some hitting on the field. Come out for starter stretch, watch a bullpen. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Can I make this in the bucket? Got a couple more tries. Usually pretty good at this, but not with the camera in my hand. Oh no! That bounced out. That was drained though. Drained for sure. All right. Oh, we got one more. We got one more. Ah, I'm gonna give myself one for four. Cause that second one, that was all the way down. You got a little barefoot action over here? Yeah, grounding. Feel on the earth. So we're trying to get under it, not squeeze, and still keep it in. Training good habits. So we're being soft. Being soft and underneath the ball and beating it to the zone. Things you love to see right there with Kirk and Sally. Well, Cincinnati Buds fall to four and three on the year, seven to five. Uh, Gino with a three run homer in the ninth to pull within two. Uh, but not enough, too little, too late. So another loss. Sucks. Losing is frustrating. But a couple bright spots today. We picked up Brian Goodwin and Archie Bradley in trades. So they should be here in the next couple days. I'm not sure when exactly they're going to be arriving and how the travel's working and all that. But I look forward to finding that out because I'm interested if they're taking one of that guy's private jets. We get a little bit of outfield help. We get a little bit of bullpen help. Shows the front office is committed to going for it. And so hopefully... Uh, you know, a little bit of energy, a little bit of like belief kind of clicks things in and we start playing, playing better. 26 games left, 25 games, something like that at this point. So we gotta, we gotta get going. <sighs> frustrating loss, frustrating loss. All right, so here's the deal. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is an off day. And then we travel to Pittsburgh on Friday for a doubleheader. 
Uh, also, we haven't really had an off day in a while. I don't remember really exactly what our last off day was. Uh, so tomorrow will be good because I can get some stuff done, but we probably have a flight tomorrow evening. So I'll have the morning and like mid afternoon to get some work done and get some stuff done. But that's, uh, that's, that's where my head's at right now. Uh, I got to throw a bullpen today. Uh, so I have an extra day in the cycle this this time, but then I throw my fourth doubleheader, seven inning doubleheader game on Friday. So that's going to be kind of interesting. I got to throw a bullpen today. We're going to work on big emphasis this cycle is my glove side and my slider velocity. Uh, basically, just being able to drive through the release of all of my pitches. Uh, so we're going to work on that. Probably keep it fairly short but pretty high intensity. So should have a pretty good bullpen. So high intensity, low volume. Uh, then we're gonna get some forearm work and some bicep work and all that stuff done in the weight room afterward. So that's the plan for today. That's the plan. Uh, and then whatever else happens to come up. I don't know, I'm not sure what's gonna come up. Why is there no one in the parking lot right now? I'm slightly concerned that the clubhouse is not actually open right now. I didn't check the schedule. Is Clubhouse open yet? What time is the Clubhouse open? Three o'clock. Three o'clock, so I'm early? You are. The unfilmable spitting in a tube process is complete. <sighs> so now I'm gonna get ready to do bullpen baseball activity things. I'm one of the first ones here. This is very odd. I showed up way too early today. Shorts that go down to about here. T-shirt that used to be like sleeveless, but now is like ripped all the way down. So it's basically a rag and flip flops. He steps on the mound, does a couple of these, uh, proceeds to throw like 15 pitches as hard as he could, and then left. And I'm like, who the hell is this guy? And like, oh, it's Brian Wilson, the closer for the Giants. All right, that felt good. I'm gonna try to throw about 20 pitches, 20, 24 pitches. Try to get some high intent command work done. Hard as I can, but to a spot. All right, interview time. Got to get this interview done. Hello. Oh. Position that somewhere. Or? You knew what you guys were getting in Archie Bradley. It's a crazy small world. You've known Archie since he was 18. Yeah, obviously knew Archie in, in Arizona. I spent a little bit of time with him in you know, this spring training. Track record guy that's been in the postseason, pitching some big moments. Has actually one of my favorite postseason moments Take ever. their leads at first and second. Fly ball, left center field. That ball's going to be in the gap. Archie Bradley, are you kidding me? He's going for third, and he's in with a slide. So another guy that's been there. there and has that intensity and uh, can bring some of that attitude and some of that that knowledge to, to our team and um, you know hopefully instill instill that that consistency that confidence that pride that and that all those things that, that lead to winning. All right, time for some supermax eccentric bicep work. Train those decelerators. Peloton. Uh, buds win. The buds win. Buds are now five and four on the year. Mally shoved. Amir came out of the pen, did a good job. Iggy did a good job closing it down on the pitching side. Double by Gino. Uh, played some good baseball. Uh, we had Homer to dead center from Tucker Barnhart. Two run shot. Then a walk off uh, by Joey Votto. He has the most walk off hits in Great American Ballpark history. And to right center field. Here comes Akiyama, rounding third. Throw to the plate and walk it off, Joey Votto. Good team win overall. Uh, off day tomorrow now, and then on to Pittsburgh for my start. I got a truck full of all my goodies. Ugh. Stuff all back there, so I got to take all this stuff up to my apartment tonight, unload a little bit, and then uh, get ready for that for that road trip tomorrow. Good night. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Today's an off day. Got my shake, and uh, I got like three minutes till 
I have an interview with the Pittsburgh radio station. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna call with Morgan, go over some marketing stuff, go to the field, and then we got a flight to Pittsburgh tonight. So somewhere in all of that, I probably need to shave and I need to film some YouTube content. So it's gonna be a busy day, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. We opened our show today, Trevor, talking about the passing of, of Tom Seaver and asking our listeners the greatest pitchers they ever saw pitch. And I wondered, is there a guy that you saw as a kid, uh, as a fan, or competed against that you thought was the, the greatest guy that you've ever seen? Yeah, there's a couple that come to mind. My personal favorite was Barry Zito. Um, I just, I loved, I loved his curveball. But as far as the best goes, probably, I mean, Pedro in his prime with Boston, those, those years in Boston where he was striking out 300 plus and walking like 30 people was, was nuts. Uh, the run that, that Schilling and Johnson got on in, uh, in Arizona stands out. So I'd probably say one of those, or, or the, the first two to three years of Tim Winscombe's career were, were absolutely amazing. A nice few pitch. Um, does it take long to notice there are no fans there? No, honestly, like I don't notice that there's fans there when I pitch in a normal year. I'm so much locked in on what I'm trying to do with the hitter, the catcher, and, and reading swings, and the game situation, and stuff like that, that I, I really don't notice uh, fans normally. So at that part of it hasn't been different. The biggest part for me has been I, I like to interact with the fans. I like to turn around and talk to people in the front row above the dugout, toss some gum up, like whatever the case is, sign autographs before the game. And so none of that has been possible. So that's been the biggest thing with the fans for me is the days that I don't pitch. All right, Morgan's been, Morgan's been killing it. We got some new shirts. Ray Chalupa will love this. Call my agent. This one's pretty good. Your ad here. The things to do today, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Love that shirt. Your brand here. Okay, so that'll go with me to film content. Uh, your ad here can go to the field, so that'll be that pile. Uh, YouTube, that's a field shirt as well. And we'll keep a year at here shirt uh, here at home. I gotta get rid of this scraggly stuff on my face. That's much better. I feel like a new person. Do I look like a new person? Chick fil A grilled. I'm gonna take a couple of these. Is there fruit back there too? There, or just uh, here? In the middle? It's supposed to be right here, so we're gonna grab you that right now. Okay. I only drink Cincinnati Buds. I love staying here in Pittsburgh because I get a suite that's sick. And then you walk in, you got this giant old area here. Desk, TV, and then you got beds over here. Another master bedroom, master bathroom with a shower and a tub. And this place is pretty sweet. Last time I was here, I had food poisoning or coronavirus or something. I don't know. I felt like crap and I missed my last start of the year. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. <laughs> 